What's up everybody, D Reaper here again doing another League of Legends Let's Play. And today I'm going to talk about the new Hexa Mode. Uh, if you don't know what Hexa Mode is, it's live right now on the PvE. And it is essentially a 6v6 champion fight on Summoner's Rift. It's no different from the 5v5 except for the additional champion. So it's a pretty cool mode. I've been playing it um, now for a couple of days and it's actually been a lot of fun. Um... I know a lot of people looking at it and go, oh, that's cool, it's going to be, you know, like, a double top lane, a double bot lane, and one mid, and one jungle, or two junglers, and all this type of stuff. There's so many things you can do with it. And uh, so far, what I found to be the most effective, so far, has been to be, uh, basically just have two people in all three lanes. Uh, have a double top, a double mid, and a double bot. Because uh, essentially, the first team that does that is actually going to win out because it, there's so many people on the map now it's so easy to protect your own buffs and to uh, protect your own jungle and to actually just take your buffs and jungle from the lane so it really makes doing a solo jungle a little bit harder and also makes ganking a little bit harder when you have two people in the lane already uh, especially since jungle's already so behind when it comes to gold and to experience and things like that unless they get these ganks and stuff um, some of the things I want to note about it um, I am a little disappointed there isn't any special items to go around with this. Uh, I really would like to see some more like area effect items like um, uh, oh, God, I can't remember a uh, locket and abyssal scepter and just things like that. Uh, frozen heart. I think this game type could really benefit from those types of items, and also it gives us the uh, right opportunity to really create some unique things that you wouldn't be able to see in 5v5 because you'd be considered overpowered. But with six people, the the changes are really, really drastic. Like, in this top lane right now, as you can see, I'm I'm playing as Shin and my laning partner is Gameplay. And we're actually having a bit of a hard time to a certain extent in this lane because we're going against uh, Swain and Renekton, which is a really common thing I've been seeing in the 6v6 is to do a AP and an AD tank top. And it really is quite effective because it's really hard to build against. You don't know, alright, who do I build against the AP? Do I build against the AD? You really don't know. You just kind of have to build for both. And that's actually why when I was playing Shin in this game, I go for uh, Locket as quickly as possible. Because it gives me both. It also helps me out during the team fights later on where I can give everyone that extra armor and stuff. And it becomes way more effective. Now, here comes down to some of the bad sides. Some of the bad things that have, uh, I've seen them occur in here is that there is a bit of overpowerness to AP champions. Um, and what I mean is, if you run into an entire team that is nothing but AP, you can do well during the early to mid-ish game. But by late game, there's so much AP damage and so much burst potential from all these AP mages that it really does become quite difficult to survive in team fights. Uh, even with a ton of magic resist, even if you bought all the magic resist items, you're you're giving up damage to protect yourself against six other AP people. Um, now on the other side, if the, the entire team went AD, it's actually a little bit simpler to deal with since uh, there's increasingly more armor items and there's more effective armor items in general like Thormail. I mean if the entire team went AD and your entire team all grabbed Thormail, you really don't need to grab that much more uh, armor like maybe another sunfire cave or an omens and uh, you can pretty much win out after that but AP it's a little bit harder so I would really like to see it if Rai could add maybe an AP item or a magic resist item that could uh, counter this type of gameplay or maybe even just um, an additional um, item maybe like one of the ones that are from Dominion and stuff like that I don't know all the names off the top of my head but I know there's one that gives you like magic resist and armor and AP damage and there's a few that do the opposite. It's armor, magic resist, and some AD damage. Uh, maybe some items like that. I mean, they don't have to be a significant amount, but having these stacks of effects, like, you know, having both armor and magic resist and some damage to go with it would be really, really effective. Maybe even Tenacity added in on some of those since um, that can be a big issue. And not everyone wants to build, you know, Golem or Zephyr Blade or Merc Treads. Uh, because maybe it doesn't fill out with the rest of their build. So, you know, some of those types of games would be really, really good. Um, all in all, though, it seems really, really fun. Uh, you know, I, I've pretty much won every game I played Shen on with him. 
um, in this. And I think that's another thing that's really impressive. It kind of breaks the old meta of, um, you know, who is viable and who isn't. Because, again, there's loads of champions that you play that are like, oh, this champion really isn't going to work because he needs time to build up or he needs to be safe. And, you know, he's a mid laner and he needs someone to help him out like the jungler. Well, now he can be a mid laner and actually have himself a tanky support or have himself a straight up support. Or, you know, have himself that jungler that needs to save him and can just kind of hang around him. Uh, it's definitely really cool to see that type of stuff come out. And also just to see the type of split pushing and objective control you can get. See, like, in this moment you just missed... Um, four people were going ahead and taking Baron, but while we're also taking Baron, we can have two other people splitting two different lanes at the same time. You know, it's really, really cool that we can have the, that type of uh, mechanics going on and that type of gameplay and objective control. So it really does change it up a bit. I really hope that this comes into the live and it makes it through. I like this just as much as I like the uh, all for one. I wasn't a big fan of the 1v1s or 2v2s, but this game type I really do enjoy. And it doesn't even need a new map. Some of this rift works just fine for it. So, guys, if you haven't tried it out, if you have a PBE account, I highly suggest you go and try to play the uh, the Hexa mode. And if you haven't got a PBE account and you want to play Hexa mode, let Wright know you want it on live. Because, guys, this game is fucking fantastic. All right. I'll see you all next time.